so um the topic today says is c programming dead so for that let me share a screen and we are going to figure it out okay at the end of today's live this is a short one i will not take much much time off <laughs> from you but yeah we will try to figure out is c programming dead or it's still worthy so first of all i pick this topic because it's one of the most frequently asked question from me uh, is c programming is dead should we learn c programming in uh, 2022 maybe jab 2021 tha tab bhi yahi same question tha 2019 mein bhi yahi question tha 2022 mein bhi abhi bhi same question hai is c programming language dead or not should we learn c language this year or not all right so um answer aapko live ke last tak mil jayega probably with the better explanations and the facts so it's this is hashtag let's find out cool excited you guys are excited yay great awesome all right so uh before even judging this uh, beautiful thing <laughs> let's find out ki ye c language hai kya okay i will show you ki uh, what exactly is this c language is and then usse hame thoda sa background score pata lag jayega ki exactly chal kya raha hai with with the c language ye exactly hai kya cheez so i totally believe uh, we all are from technical background like uh, either you are doing your bca btech be maybe some technical degree or maybe you are doing some freelancing with this uh, um, you know your technical skills degree doesn't matter your technical skills does so don't worry so let me uh, first show you the c programming language okay what exactly the c programming language is cool so let's figure out ye c programming language hai kya so few topics from this particular slide um one second uh, just a second okay cool some uh okay it's it's, it's cool let me let's bring it back and let me share the screen again okay so let's first of all figure it out what exactly your c programming language is and there are a couple of questions which will be answered in this only and then we will take uh, go to the um, analysis wala part where we will try to analyze and compare few languages okay probably your python programming language javascript programming language okay before even diving can i have a pool um write in a chat box see chat box is your best friend so write in the chat box what uh, programming language you think is best okay quickly write your favorite programming language you think is the best yeah ahalya thinks uh, python is uh, one of the best programming language yeah great everyone javascript ankur says javascript and python also best to kuch ek ho sakta hai how two languages can be best <laughs> aman uh, says javascript is best rahul says python is best <laughs> no one believes c is best <laughs> maybe c++ java no one Oh, so we have a lot of Python and JavaScript fans. Great. So at the end of the slides or at the end of this live, maybe you become a C pro a C language lover. <laughs> yeah, I will make you fall in love with C language. This is one of the. Um, <laughs> I will not say because we have not answer any given slides. Go. Chalo, let's let's start with the what is C thing. Okay, so C language is actually a successor of your B programming language. Have anyone, anyone heard about this B programming language, ever? 
deep programming language feels like c is used for teaching basics that's it oh wow never heard yeah cool um answering uh, this one feels like c is used to teaching basics that's it but believe me you're missing a lot of things <laughs> i'm a research and development engineer and i work on c programming language you, you are missing a lot of things all right so um b programming language b was a uh, interpreted programming language just ke basis pe unix uh, <laughs> maybe anchor yeah yeah so c uh, b programming language kya tha b programming language was the um, interpreted uh, interpreted language okay and yeah as, as the name suggested it was before c language c language ka naam karan <laughs> ऐसे ही हुआ था बिकॉज इट कम्स आफ्टर बी इट बिकम सी सो दैट्स हाउ सी प्रोग्रामिंग गॉड इट नेम बट नॉट जस्ट नेम सी हैव अ वेरी ग्रेट लेगेसी वेन इवन इवन यू यूज मैक बुक राइट यू लव मैक ओएस मैक ओएस इज बेसिकली नथिंग बट द यूनिक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सी लैंग्वेज वॉज क्रिएटेड टू री इम्प्लीमेंट योर यूनिक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम there is a great depth in the sentence your um, unix operating system was re implemented and the language used was c programming language and that's a very deep thing you're getting uh, you love mac os because you know uh, unix and and you believe mac os is uh, very very nice and believable trustable so that's a yep so as i told you at the end of the uh, this live you will fall in love with c programming language yeah the c language koi application banane ke liye nahi likha gaya tha c language pura ka pura operating system likhne ke liye banaya gaya tha by uh, the dennis ritchy in 1970s yes 1970s ye hamare parents ki age ki hai <laughs> मे बी आपके पेरेंट्स भी कुछ साल बड़ी हो सकती है ये सी लैंग्वेज इज दैट मैच्योर लैंग्वेज दैट्स वाई एवरी वन लव सी इट्स सो फास्ट कोई एरर नहीं कोई बग नहीं ओल दो आई टोल्ड दैट ऑलरेडी या ओल्ड देन आर पेरेंट्स कुल इट्स सो सिंपल It's so fast. कोई और लैंग्वेज मेरे को लगता नहीं है कि जो सी लैंग्वेज से फास्ट होगा एंड सिग्निफिकेंस भी है इस चीज का बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस जैसे सी प्लस प्लस वॉज दी एक्सटेंशन ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इवन जावा लाइब्रेरीज वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज इन जावा दो रिटर्न ऑन दी यू नो सी लाइब्रेरीज सी के जो हेडर फाइल्स थे उनके ऊपर जावा लाइब्रेरीज लिखी गई थी सो i think you start building some importance around c programming language yep so c language um has a great impact on our entire history again c is a general purpose uh, computer programming language yep it's simple and fast developed in uh, bell labs bell labs is the historic place uh, so many things happened in this bell labs your unix system your c language b language a lot of uh, uh, scratch projects a lot of things happened in bell labs if you want to uh, you know just if you just uh, you know interested so you, you can go to the wikipedia and search for bell labs you will get a lot of things lot of historic things uh, happened here at the bell labs Okay, so Dennis Ritchie, uh, the father of C programming language, he and uh, some of his friends, colleagues, uh, were there in the team. And uh, um, if you if you have know the you know history of Linux, so Linux history may be kind of a C language ka kuch part hai. And yeah, so first, yahan pe apko ek treasure hunt dunga. Last point jo likha hua hai, which is it is most widely used programming language. most widely okay aisa koi um scope nahi hai jahan pe aap c language ko use nahi kar sakte it's everywhere see i'm taking um this live on my macbook macbook macos macos it's unix unix c language right you do a telephonic calls a uh, lot of uh, towers are connected 
connectivity networking c language it's very fast and socket and uh, you know uh, http connections basically socket socket programming is very very nice and simple in c language okay embedded embedded systems for example your refrigerators your um, you know microwaves embedded uh, systems everywhere you will find c programming language right so yeah that sort of edge c language has cool interesting these things about c language this is just a first slide and i told you a lot about c programming language yep great awesome so you already start building some interest in c language great so let's uh, let's answer why c um, i don't know is yeah college never talk about uh, real world so why c programming language so this one uh, it is one of the most popular programming language in the world jab reimplementation hua tha unix ka in c programming language us time pe c ne jo pick liya tha uske baad se it never went you know drastically down woh upar niche hua because new languages came in uh, python java came in so thoda bahut people switch to these simpler languages and they dropped uh, c language because wahan pe syntax is very very easy and c is used actually it's a debatable topic c ko low level programming language kaha jaye middle level kaha jaye ya fir high level kaha jaye i will say c can score anywhere if you put c language if you want to use c language as a low pro low level programming language you can go ahead and use it mid level high level any very any sort of language any sort of code you want to do you can do with c language and you can do anything with c language i have created excel files using c programming language um uh, we i work on uh, uh, biometric um company so we have some face recognition things happening in c language so we c language do a lot of yeah jaisa maine kaha tha i uh, i'm a research and development engineer so wahan pe jo programming language hum use kar rahe that is a c programming language we have entire products running on c language so yeah that's why i was saying in the beginning you are you're missing a lot of things if you just think you see is used to uh, <laughs> teaching <laughs> yeah all right so yeah c is very fast compared to other programming languages like java python python ko to aap bahut hi piche rakh do speed ke mamle mein python is super slow uh java is fast language but c se zyada nahi c is a fastest c is very versatile it can be used in both applications and technologies kahin par bhi aap c language ko use kar sakte ho for creating anything web pages also if you are wondering ki c language se web page ban sakte so yeah i i have done that also <laughs> web page hi bana diye the c language se humne cool so now let's uh, talk about what sort of applications you can create using c programming language so the first thing i mentioned is your database so jaise hum database par, uh, sunte hain we um, got something known as sql स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्वेरी लैंग्वेज जहां पे आप सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टेबल का नाम ऐसे क्वेरीज लिखते हो ओके आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट कि हम वो क्वेरीज लिख सकते हैं सी लैंग्वेज में आई एम सेइंग वो पूरा का पूरा डेटाबेस सी लैंग्वेज में क्रिएट होता है ओके यू हर्ड अबाउट दिस थिंग राइट कि डेटाबेस आर सो फास्ट दे आर सो कन्वीनिएंट टू स्टोर योर डेटा इन अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड वेल स्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्म ऑल दोस थिंग्स आर डन इन यू नो यूजिंग सी लैंग्वेज what are some advantages other uh, languages provide over c like why people uh, use other languages and not c <laughs> great question um other programming languages have something known as abstraction okay so c as i mene pehle hi mention kiya c can be written in low level mid level high level any level you can write your c code but these languages like java and python they are the high level programming languages where we write uh, most of the code very very close to our natural language okay so and plus they have a very uh, big marketing <laughs> you never see uh, marketing strategies from c language you always see c language as the backbone of of these big giants okay if you talk about database 
सो डेटा बेस आर क्रिएट यूजिंग सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो कई बार ऐसा होता है we see something in in forefront and we think that's our hero but sometimes aisa hota ki wo us hero ko us forefront pe lane ke liye we have something jo background mein kaam kar raha hai that's our c programming language okay it's super super senior <laughs> even uh, java python aur c language ke beech mein kareeban 20 25 yani ki pura ek generation ka hi gap hai so if you want to go deeper into c as domain c is the way to go yes see um in cs in computer science what what best you can uh, create you can create uh, um maybe the highest thing you can create is the processors if you can create processors right like developing databases etc what else can we do creating processors ram any any file management system yeah they say we have a lot of file management systems windows use something um um linux use something so hardware engineering yeah definitely embedded systems are nothing but that only embedded programming it's very 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 close to your hardware's right even your uh, motorcycle uh, console meters yeah that is also part of embedded programming we can then uh, we can do using c programming language okay so the first application i mentioned is your database um and one of the best example is mysql everyone heard about this mysql i guess there are rarely people who haven't heard about mysql is so famous right and and so productive also it's not like i mean <laughs> it's it's a um it's great a great database yeah and used uh, and uh, developed using c programming language next is your operating systems you can create entire operating system for example unix unix is just uh, one example you can go ahead and uh, uh, find out what uh, what else operating systems are creating using c programming language you can do a lot gui um, now this gui adobe illustrator is actually created using c and c++ both but still i mentioned here uh, gui because the main thing here is gui which is known as graphical user interface okay graphical user interface is nothing but where you see the text box labels nice window all these things because most of the time when we uh, when we think about c programming language only console application came up in our in our um, top of the head right only console application you give some input you get some output that's it but no you can you can actually create gui applications using this language and if you want to learn um gui application using c programming language i have a great course uh, free of cost on on our youtube i can give you um link to that okay it's a uh, if you if you don't want to learn uh like even if you don't want to learn uh, gui applications you can just watch these lectures and have fun with it okay so that you have idea ki okay c language can do this also so how you can create a playlist in here okay view playlist in okay <laughs> that's interesting great this is a playlist uh, this is my playlist on uh, gui in c programming language okay you can watch it on 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 youtube cool make it make a, uh, you know copy to this to your clipboard um after this class you will uh, these chats will be lose so copy to your clipboard awesome awesome so now after gui application we can create embedded i have already discussed embedded um embedded are like uh, yeah <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> embedded programmings are like uh, where you create you know your motorcycle console refrigerators um cons uh, consoles on your microwave all these things we can do your washing machines everywhere this is all these are embedded programming c language is also used to create compilers and interpreters 
a lot of uh, um, you know compiler even c ka compiler khud c programming mein hi likha hua hai um, the most famous c compiler is the mingw if you are on if you are on a windows system you will use mingw as a standard to compile your c lang- c codes if you have ever um, created dot c files and compile it probably you were using mingw without knowing it seems like a lot of things behind the scene happens using c and c++ yes a lot a lot even it's uh, it's very simple it's very very simple programming language it has countable things and using those countable things you can create um un- unlimited sort of ideas you can bring a un- lot of unlimited ideas into the uh, into the life cool um at educators we have actually a full structured course for your c programming language where we discussed from very scratch and this is kisi ne mention kiya tha it's used for teaching yeah i always always prefer uh, to learn c language before learning any programming language any programming language maybe uh, you are interested into web programming first learn c language <laughs> okay c language will strong and give you a very nice grip to all the data you have to handle data types pe bahut acha grip aa jayega how to iterate over things so you will get a very nice understanding of everything okay c language will enhance and make you more interested into cs domain okay so this is uh, let me copy this link for you copy link address and i'm giving you link in the chat box okay so you can read the entire structured course and if you are interested you can um connect with us okay so if i um come here okay i need to stop sharing and to share it again that's how it works <laughs> give me a second c language here it is so see this is the actual um curriculum of my c programming language so i have divided into seven stages seven seven is a great number very big number <laughs> okay so uh, in the stage number stage number 1 i will be giving you the building elementary knowledge so i will build all those elementary knowledge even what text editor you use okay um let me let me mention one more thing here i have created a lot of text editors <laughs> I don't know why I I enjoyed creating text editor. So I I have a, a text editor in C programming language. Okay, so if you um, if you want to you know see or uh, experience this text editor, you can go to my GitHub and find it out. Okay, I um, my GitHub is with the name Edvogs. Yeah. So if you just search Edvox on GitHub, you will find all my repositories. I have 25 plus repositories there, and one of the repositories is regarding uh, text editor in C programming language. So again, it's a GUI, and also you can have multiple tabs. Just say like advanced uh, um, text editor me hote hain. For example, VS Code, Sublime Text Editor, Atom. All these text editors have these uh, f- this functionality to have multiple tabs. so my text editor can also have multiple tabs the most beautiful thing about it it was developed in c it is developed in c programming language this is the most beautiful thing <laughs> okay so you can go and download um, sublime or any text editor or you can go ahead and download my text editor and uh, start using it it's a it's a pretty one okay and then i will uh, i will be discussing the c preliminaries so a lot of very very long list we have like i will start from the very basic preprocessors as start karke i will be taking you to the to the functions so this stage number 2 is actually a very big step a lot of things you are going to learn in this particular so all the literals keywords extension type casting condition all these things we are going to learn in stage number 2 after stage number 2 we will go for stage 3 in which you are going to learn about um, recursion you know uh, dealing with the data so basically uh, abhi upar tak we were discussing or learning the uh, basics how you how you do programming in stage number 3 you will going to deal with data the real data you will do some iteration uh, you will learn pointers strings array all these things 
okay in stage number three and uh, i will be taking up faster i don't want to bore you <laughs> in stage number four um, we will do data collections like structures union type diff it's a very interesting and very very important topics um, and if you are wondering or if you want to start with data structures and algorithm, the C language, I will say, do C language first and then go for data structures and algorithm. Okay. So yeah, do uh, learn C language and then go for your data structures. Then I have added this uh, optional thing, uh, which is file handling. That's not really important to know, but uh, it, it will be good if you, if you have done file handling sort of thing using um, any language. So we are doing C language. So I, I will be telling you how you can do file handling in C programming language. Okay, it will be a fun thing. And finally, I will give you some advanced concepts like error handling, memory management, and even command line arguments. It's a very awesome thing. Command line arguments, it makes your life very, very easy. <laughs> and at uh, the final stage, I will be uh, forcing you to create some sort of uh, project. <laughs> okay, um, sounds good, this, this curriculum. Yeah, so very nice and detailed course and it will take um, almost 60, 70 days to complete. Um, yeah, so yep, very detailed. Please connect us on um, this number. Yep, so that's the number for for connecting us. Let me share the screen again and let's go back to your seat. So career opportunities after learning um, C programming language. Take more time, I think. Yeah, you can go for a uh, weekend batches. We have weekend batches. Then you have something known as career opportunities. What, what you can do after learning uh, this this beast. <laughs> the, uh, this is not the only thing. Uh, this ki bad job lag jata, but yeah, one job has a lot of uh, lot of things to deal with, right? Only one skill can't land you to a job. So you can do embedded engineering, software uh, developer. You can be a database developer. Not the SQL query likhne wala. Jo actual mein database bana de. Like for example, you are creating MySQL, maybe version two for yourself. <laughs> SQLite um, is another um, example. So now uh, you can go for backend developers, you can go for analyst or architecture or Linux developer or what else. You can do a lot of things with C. Okay. And finally, this is the, yeah, okay, that's the last slide. And after this slide, I will be taking you to the uh, final slide, uh, which will be explaining uh, is C dead or not? <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it for this particular slide. Any question, any doubt? No doubts. That's, that's awesome. So as I told you in the beginning, at the end of these slides, you are going to fall in love with C programming language. Did we reach the halfway? <laughs> Halfway to reach. Definitely, yeah. See, I told you. Yep. And the best part, after learning C programming language, you can learn any programming language in no time. Any programming language you can pick. Okay, because you already know the concepts. What what you expect from a programming language? You know the entire C language. You can implement and actually compare uh, different different features of different languages that they offer and someone asked to um, some programming languages are more famous as compared to c so one of the reason um, is one re one more reason could be like they have some sort of data structures uh, already built in for example your python have this very beautiful data structures known as dictionary yep i know python is slow but uh, um, this data structure, really, really, very, really important data structure, really clean data structure, which is data, uh, which is dictionaries. So dictionaries are nothing but the implementation of hashing. So if you know hash data structure, hashing data structure, uh, you will know, you will be 
uh, you will know the importance of uh, hashing and having dictionary okay not all programming languages have that thing java also offers the same um but but i like uh, python's one more <laughs> <laughs> cool so you can take screenshot these are the um these are the ways you can reach us cool and let me pull uh, the next slide okay so let's take it to this one let's stop sharing okay i need to log in there cool let's stop sharing and i will share my screen back let's share a window cool i think you can uh, see the screen right it says is c programming language dead <laughs> cool after knowing all these things from the first slide can you answer this question is c programming dead <laughs> what do you think now c programming dead i don't think so <laughs> see in in the very in the very beginning you were like everyone is was like java script is best python is best so now i have changed some some of your perspectives <laughs> i'm sorry for that maybe <laughs> okay so is c programming dead what does uh, the trend says okay this will be not my personal opinions um, it will be like let's let's fi find out from these uh, top indexes for example you can uh, search on google trends so i have a hyperlink here if i click here i will go i will reach the um google trend page yeah you can see it cool so if you um see on google trends if you search c programming language you will find out this particular graph you will see it's declining but it's much much better as compared to um other programming languages okay for example um ruby vb all those languages have a very dead graph okay i know it's declining but yeah um i am starting from 2004 okay so if i just go for last maybe let's say 90 days you will see a better graph see a very nice steady sort of uh, you know li lines yeah so this is the 2004 wala if i go to 30 days now see even more better yep so these are the trends and how google trends you already know um uh, how many times these keywords were searched and how many websites they have so they have a lot of uh, um calculations before put, plotting these graphs so we we can trust google because we all search on google so yeah we can trust on their data so oh, so that's your google trends not only this we have more options we can go for let's go for uh, tio bay index first um actually tio bay is a good indexing website but uh, uh, they lose some of their you know um trust thoda sa unhone apna trust lose kar diya because of their um uh, one second how this stop uh, um i accidentally crossed the wrong browser one second give me a second i will be sharing it back i accidentally closed the browser that's why it stopped sharing the screen one second screen share entire window i'm sharing okay so this one cool so this was okay cool so let's go to this one tiobe okay so how tiobe works it figure out how many websites are there which have the c programming language okay how many websites are there so 
सॉर्ट ऑफ ऐसा कुछ कैलकुलेशन रहती है की आई आर रेड अ फ्यू अबाउट देम बट या कुछ ऐसे सॉर्ट ऑफ कैलकुलेशन रहती है सो दिस इज द इंडेक्स ऑफ योर टायोबे वेर यू विल फाइंड सम ऑफ द पॉपुलर लैंग्वेज ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सी ऑन द वेरी टॉप वी हैव पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज जो कि आप सभी ने कहा था स्टार्टिंग में इट्स वन ऑफ योर बेस्ट चॉइस एंड या एक्चुअली पाइथन इज वन ऑफ द टॉप प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज टॉप का मतलब फर्स्ट पाइथन इज फर्स्ट पाइथन इज फर्स्ट फ्रॉम लास्ट फाइव ईयर इवन फाइव लास्ट फाइव ईयर से पाइथन फर्स्ट पर ही है ओके बट इफ यू नोटिस सी लैंग्वेज टाइम ओबी इंडेक्स में सी लैंग्वेज इज एट द सेकेंड पोजिशन Which means a lot. Java उसके नीचे है, C plus plus उसके नीचे है, C sharp उसके नीचे है, right? Uh, but this is Tayobe. I really uh, don't, you know, uh, trust them fully because like they uh, they figure out how many websites are there uh, which have the C programming language sort of things. Okay, uh, but see in the real world, um, which language is famous or dynamic? can be judge only like how many peoples are using them how many companies are using them okay so you can have billion of websites but possible possibilities there like no one ever go to the, those billion websites right that is also possible so only having number of websites um, i don't think it's a reliable data <laughs> data analyst people can can relate with this thing now uh, which one i believe more is your pypl it's again some sort of indexing it's a uh, popularity of programming language <laughs> pypl ki full form yahi hai popularity of programming language and uh, this is e much better if i just do some zoom so you will see ranking and what programming language is there okay so again according to pypl Uh, python wins the race python is at top first and uh, yeah jaisa maine kaha tha it's it's there from the last 5 years it's there top one then you have java and uh, pypl um, actually looks how many people are uh, consuming or um, interacting with these languages or using these languages so i believe this index um, more okay and uh, you can find c and c++ at the fifth um, position or fifth rank which is which is not even bad okay out of all those programming languages you know we have 300 plus programming languages 300 plus programming languages it's a big number so out of those 300 programming languages c is coming in top 5 <laughs> i will not say it it's it's bad i will say it's damn good right it's so old but still top 5 <laughs> classy right so yeah see um, uh, your python your java are are there javascript is there but c c++ consider when it started and it's still so popular yes exactly so i think i made a very nice home of c lang for c language in your heart <laughs> yeah i i love c programming language and uh, i wish everyone knows it so that's why i created that uh, structured course and uh, i i really appreciate you if you join that one and learn this beautiful programming language even if it's not in your curriculum it will definitely help you in some way <laughs> yeah great so um let's let's actually see one more interesting thing uh, let's go to your google trends um uh, back and here in google trends we can compare the c programming language languages with other programming languages also so let's try to compare actually it's not a very good thing to compare a language with another language but let's do it for once <laughs> so let's say python programming 
do we have python yeah here it is python programming language so c c language is it is with blue color and python is with the red color you see a very nice cross here c language was um, here at the peak and then it goes down and python here was uh, a very very declined thing but here it start picking up okay so yeah that's why uh, python is at the top <laughs> and c is at fifth <laughs> python wins this game but i totally believe uh, c gives a very tight competition if you see this this cross happens in november 2015 around uh, 15 16 so that sort of time still feels, uh, feels it's a very big competition uh, what else programming language we can compare we can compare with javascript or or let's say java first so java is in yellow color so if you see <laughs> java was uh, here at the top in 2004 but i don't know why some <laughs> somehow it came down and uh, uh, it it even come go down see your python yep so python has 22 c has 6 and java is 15 so there are some sort of indexes okay python is also there because of framework built on top of like uh, django which is the one of the best framework out there. yes python django i i love that framework um i love python django framework i love python django rest framework <laughs> yeah both both projects are great exactly yeah drf django rest framework for everyone else great you you guys are already so much into this field and you know a lot of things i don't know how you skip this part c language is so important now you can um compare for the last 30 days i know it's a very small <laughs> spam of time and you will see c is going very leniently uh, python and java is just running up and down up and down all these things but c is there in a very constant mood <laughs> so you can all you can compare a lot of uh, programming languages okay if you can compare with purana languages for example you can compare c with ruby Let's let's compare. See with Ruby. Ruby is another uh, very old programming language. So Ruby is red and C is blue. So here you can see C wins the game, right? Not just past thirty days. Let's go for past five years. See, very nice up and down, up and down, up and down sort of things are happening. But at the end, you will see um, C was um, above even in the starting. C is still above. even at the end okay ruby is some sort of dying <laughs> rest in peace maybe <laughs> so c and ruby great languages okay so um i i i really don't do these things a lot like comparing two programming languages i believe all languages have their own uh, capabilities but yeah when it comes to c it's it's entirely different sort of thing <laughs> for me c is always there always at the top after c i i love python um i love java oh sorry i miss c++ there so c and c++ actually both comes at the same um, hierarchy level c and c++ came at the same hierarchy level So Dennis Ritchie brings a brings a C programming language, and C plus plus brings uh, Oops concept with uh, in in C language. So that's really really awesome. So every um, nice features of C plus Oops that's your that's your C plus plus. Okay, C plus plus का नाम भी इसी तरह रखा गया था. C plus plus का original name was C with classes, right? C plus plus का जो original name था that was C with classes, but बाद में उसको चेंज करके कर देगा C plus plus, because we have a plus plus operator there. Um, I hope many of you knows uh, know this plus plus operator, right? It used to increment and assign one 
a value at the same time at the same time yeah yeah cool that's why uh, and basically it's the successor sort of thing like plus plus karoge you will get a successor so that's why c ka successor c plus plus we are great in, in naming <laughs> namings mein hum bahut acche rahe hain shuruaat se c ek programming language ka naam tha b aur uske baad ek language banayi uska naam rakh diya c so we have a great history of naming products <laughs> Why was the first one? Uh, why was the first one B? Uh, B is actually used to uh, write your Unix uh, first, okay. And uh, at some point point of time, they they know that B will not work out for Unix. Whatever uh, the vision they have for Unix operating system, they can't achieve uh, using B language because it it was slow interpreted. So they need some. language which is fast and compiled so they made c++ oh, sorry they made c <laughs> cool with the, with this we can move to the conclusion part um which says um is c programming dead so my answer is no what do you guys think what do you guys think is c programming language dead <laughs> figure it out do we have this programming language a <laughs> you guys are so interesting you can